Uh, this is uh, Go Fishing's Brian McClintock, and I'm here with Captain Tom Hughes. Uh, we just had a nice day out on the Chesapeake. Uh, fishing was a little tough, though, today. Um, <laughs> yes, it was. But, uh, you know, Tom, uh, tell me a little bit about uh, the Chesapeake and why you uh, why you like fishing it so much. Sure. Uh, I enjoy it because there's usually a lot of nice striped bass <laughs> around. Uh, every now and then there's some blue fish, croakers, and... Uh, it just seems to be a lot of fish, especially this time of year, about starting in mid-June until about December the 1st. Uh, we have the nursery up here, which uh, enables us to have a lot of fish ranging from 14 to about 24 inches. Uh, uh, they're too small to go out uh, to the ocean. Uh, and they're still growing, and they stay in, in this in the Chesapeake Bay, Maryland portion uh, while they're doing that. And uh, you know, Tom, how long have you uh, how long have you been doing this? Uh, and uh, you know, obviously an Orvis Doris Guide. You know, um, you know, how have you set up your business and uh, your guiding business and your partnership with Orvis? Um, I started uh, guiding in 2000, um, light tackle and fly fishing. And then in 2004, I started it full time, uh, and uh, that that made it possible for me to become an endorsed, an Orvis endorsed fly fishing guide uh, about 2008, and I've been doing it since then, and get a lot of clients through Orvis, uh, and uh, we do a lot of fly fishing and a lot of light tackle, whatever whatever the client wants to do. Um, and, you know, I see the, the CCA Maryland hat, and uh, you're on the board of directors for the state. Uh, how, uh, how important is uh, conservation to, uh, to what you're doing um, as a, as a prof full-time professional guide? Well, uh, what the CCA does uh, basically is we want to protect the fishermen. We don't want anybody to stop from fishing or anything like that. But there's times when uh, we have to uh, assist Maryland Department of Natural Resources to do such things as uh, our favorite fish in Maryland has been a, a yellow perch. And uh, since the 90s, mid 90s, we were doing surveys and gave that information to the DNR. And uh, they went over to find out that they had to shut some rivers down and so on so this fishery could grow. And as of last year, it really, it really came back strong. Uh, kids are out there catching fish again. Uh, that's the first fish that comes up in the year in the salt water. Uh, it's a family type fish and they're out there doing it. We're real proud of that. And um, we're, in the, we're also addressing the, the oyster problem in the state of Maryland and we're, we're all trying to help uh, Maryland DNR and the governor of Maryland get these programs go, going with the floats and things like that to help. The oyster actually helps uh, clean the water. Uh, along with the uh, the Menhaden. Um and Tom, you know, uh, the last question is, you know, you've been on uh, go fishing for uh, for a few months now. Uh, you know, uh, what do you think of the site so far? And uh, you know, how do you hope that it uh, helps grow your business as you continue to uh, to guide out here on the Chesapeake? I think it's a, it's a really it's a, it's a nice site. There's a lot of information on there for just a regular angler who wants to to uh, target a fish. Uh, they can go in there and click on striped bass or largemouth bass or whatever, and that'll take him to sites that, that have information about that. Uh, so it's a very good learning tool for anglers that that are, are not just getting into it. Anglers that have questions and and they can put questions on there where they where they'll actually get uh, answers from professional guides because uh, most of us we like to teach and and that's uh, we look forward to doing that and help people out. So. It's, it's going to be a good site. It is a good site. I think it's, it's growing and it's going to be a little bit better.